Mr. Greenberg, did you notice anything unusual about Zach? What, lately? Yeah, I did. What is with Zach and this privacy thing? Zach and me, we were always best buds, compadres. We could talk about anything, life, sports, the odd alien invasion. Zach kept going on about wanting his own private world, like, like an island retreat. He'll be cool. And then all of a sudden, he needs his own space. Zach? Hey, I'm on the phone here. No, no one important, just my dad. Look, Rita, I better go. Yeah, yeah, bye. Thank you, Zach. By the way, your room looks like a nuclear waste dump. You went in my room? Well, yeah. Dad, that's my room. I have stuff in there. You can't just go in. I can't believe he did that without my permission. Hasn't he always gone into your room? Well, yeah, but lately it's been really bugging me. I mean, I do have a basic right to privacy. What are you doing? Filming. Any moment in your life can lead to a Zach file. And it's my life, right? Right? Hey, I'm not a science experiment. Can't I have any time to myself? Turn it off. Just turn it off. Precipitate. P-R-E-C-I-P-I-T-A-T-E. The mixture of an acid and a base. Am I asking for a lot? All I want is some time alone. A chance to be on my own. But it's not going to happen. So be prepared. You'll have to work closely together on this one. See what I mean? The team with the best report will get to skip next Tuesday's surprise quiz. Spence, can't we go home? Not yet. Come on, guys. We're getting to the fun part. It's already 9 o'clock. You guys are getting right. Genius is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. Okay, who ordered the pizza? I did. You shouldn't eat while working with chemicals. Chemicals? Spence, we're mixing vinegar and baking soda. I think I could have done this on my own. Eight pizzas, but I only ordered four. Thank you, Dunlopey. I'll pay you back Monday. You bet you will. By the way, our alliance is close to victory over your pathetic tribe of losers. You're not cheating, are you? No, no. No, of course not. Yeah, whatever. Enjoy. Is he gone, sir? Yes. Now, Dr. Fox, when mixing vinegar and baking soda... Yes, the experiment. Fascinating. Oh, man. This piece is cold. And it's got anchovies. Cam, if you don't like anchovies, then pick them off. Zach, if your pizza's cold, then why don't you just heat it up? Floyd's got a microwave in his office. I like it cold. I'm busy here. Okay. Dickie, could you not chew in my ear? Why don't you just go away? Get lost. Just go. What's that? Whoa! Major feedback. Dickie, I'm sorry I... Hey. Where'd he go? Dickie? Well, he 
He's not upstairs. And there's no trace outside. Well, maybe he went home. I kind of did tell him to get lost. Dickie would never leave without telling us. Zach file, 42 anchovy alert dash five. We may have just experienced a classic case of human apportation. Don't you mean teleportation like in Star Trek? No, apportation. Star Trek is a TV show. This is real. Could we please use the correct scientific terminology? Sorry, my mistake. Spence, don't you think you're overreacting? Am I? Check out the electromagnetic activity. Something happened. Okay, what did you do now? Me? Why is it always me? Because you attract the paranormal like dogs attract fleas. This is nothing new. People disappear all the time. Like the settlers of Roanoke Island. Or that guy who played Luke Skywalker. You think that could happen to us? Look, we're not leaving until we find Dickie. Well, I guess we have to warn Vernon to clear out, though. I get the crummy jobs. Human apportation, Greenberg? That's lame. Even for you. You're just trying to scare us so you can get the jump on the science project. We don't need anyone's help, Vernon. We have Spence. And we have Dr. Fox from the Mandeville Institute. Um, as an inspiration. Look at Vernon. Everyone knows you cheat. I'm just here to warn you that if you're not careful, you could just disappear. Mm. And who's going to make me? I can't believe. I can't believe we have five more years with that Nimrod. So does Vernon know what you did to Dickie? I didn't do anything to Dickie. And besides, even if I could, why would I make him disappear? Vernon bugs me a whole lot more. I mean, just thinking about his greedy little eyes, his sneer. His trust fund. Just the way he says, Greenberg. Uh, Zach, what are you doing? I don't know. That's coming from you. Come on, it's just the air conditioning. I don't know, maybe we should get out of here. Yeah, that's two votes to one. Nobody is voting me off this island. We stand firm. With Dickie gone, we are evenly matched with Greenberg's team. Three of us. Three of them. We will have the best report. We will skip the Tuesday quiz. We will be the survivors! What's going on? Greenberg! Where'd he go? Where am I? What's that? You leave pizza lying around, you get flies. Look, I'm sorry I ordered the pizza. Can we move on? The Livy! Sharp! Hey! Hey! Help! It's no use, man. We're not going anywhere. Based on the law of conservation of matter, Vernon and the others couldn't just cease to exist. Their atoms must have gone somewhere. I'm betting it's not Miami. No. Is that dust on the floor? Dickie! It's me! Spence! I'm getting help. And then I'm getting you help. Papa Lou's Pizza, what address? I got the pizza guy. My finger must have slipped. Papa Lou's Pizza, what address? Hey, who is this? Papa Lou's! Hey, I know you. You're that kid that didn't want the eight pizzas he ordered. No. I only ordered four. My friend ordered the other four. And you didn't tip! Spence the feedback. It must have jammed my cell on redial. What would do that? 
Microwaves. Microwaves don't just cook food. They also send television signals for miles. So? So what if under special circumstances, microwaves could project objects, even people? I don't like where this is going. They'd need a special transmitter. Like anyone we know? Zach! Hi! Hey! Where were you, buddy? I was upstairs looking for Vernon. Was he there? I don't know. The door was locked. They wouldn't open up. It's like they were scared of me. Of you? <laughs> really? Um... You heard Vernon. It's just Greenberg doing his paranormal voodoo again. What do we do? Remember Lord of the Flies? The part where the heroes break Petey's glasses? That was the best. Those kids were alone on the island. There were no adults. But did they wait for things to happen? No. They took the offensive. Let's get Greenberg before he gets us. So, uh, Zach, I was thinking maybe you can be team leader. In fact, you can be the team. What are you talking about? I, uh, later. Wait, Spence, wait up! Cam! Spence! Where are you guys? Greenberg, it's clobbering time. Guys, please, can I, can, can I talk you out of this? This is gonna hurt you a lot more than it hurts me, really. If we grab him, maybe he can't zap us like Vernon. Not without zapping himself, right? Yeah, so grab him. You first. No, you first. No, you first, huh? Hi, Jack. Gwen? What are you doing here? I live here, remember? Anyways, I was upstairs studying, and then I fell asleep. But then I heard some noise. What's going on down here? Gwen, I, I think I have the power to make people disappear. That's fabulous. It is? Yes. You just said you think you have a paranormal power. And I don't think I can control it. That's good because you're starting to realize that when you see aliens... I did see aliens. Or when you think you hear talking dogs... Gwen, please! You know, this is all in your imagination. Once you realize that, the healing can begin. Just go, Gwen! You zapped Gwen? I mean, making Vernon disappear is one thing, but Gwen? I didn't mean to! You wanted your own private world. Soon you'll have the school all to yourself. Hope you enjoy it. Okay, I'm stuck in a terrarium. It's a little dirty, but that's okay. Yes, it's like we're the last two people on Earth. Hey, what about us? Yeah, you're in the jar. You don't count. Don't worry, Gwendolyn. We can build a new society right here on the mantle. We will rule the people of the jar, teach them, give them values. Gwen vanished, he was rubbing his forehead. His forehead? Yeah. He looked upset. The brain is just a mass of electrical signals. So? So combined with the microwaves, maybe that's how Zack transmitted Dickie and Gwen. Zack has that much wattage? Okay, come on, Greenberg, think. You can get everyone back. I got it. No, just a really big headache. Okay. What would Cam do? He would ask us. 
suspense. Oh, man! Kale! If you can hear me, I just wanted to let you know that this isn't what I wanted. I'm sorry. I really need you guys. I need my team. Your team? Since when did it get to be your team? You won't zap us, will you? I'll try not to. Okay, thanks. Let's get cracking. You guys get the microwave in here. Based on the pizza's electromagnetism, I think we need an expert in quantum physics. Right, I'll get the yellow pages. Wait, we already have an expert. On call. What about the anchovies? The anchovies are just a red herring. Well, a member of the herring family. I'm not sure they're really red. Dr. Fox. Now, about your ideas of human apportation. So, let's say Zack somehow messed with the microwave. Yes, turning himself into a transmitter. And just as television signals are transmitted over microwaves, Zack projected your friends over time. Space. I suppose it's possible. But where did they go? What are you doing? If you think I'm gonna live here off pizza drippings with you for the rest of my life, you're crazier than Zach. Ah, that's a huge ball. You'll kill us. No, this is just a dream, and I'm still asleep. It is? Of course. And then when we hit the ground, this will all be over. Wait, is it true that if you die in a dream, you die in real life? Yes, that's one theory. Okay, just a couple more good shoves. Uh, what is that annoying noise? Cam, focus. We have to reprogram the microwave to reverse the signal. Did Dr. Fox say how? Of course not. He's an expert in theoretical physics. He wouldn't know how to tie his shoelaces if he tried. Well, we have to know someone who knows microwaves. Do I know microwaves? I deliver pizza. You think I make all this up fresh? We could really use your expertise. Hey, why should I help you? You don't even tip. Let me make you a proposal. Really? Really? Deal. Okay, this is what you do. Okay, that should do it. I hope this gets some back. And go. Did it work? Oh no. What? It's like nothing I've seen before. Oh, poor Dickie. It's my fault. We rushed into it. I should have run more tests. Hey guys. Dickie, is there any left? You're back. Wow, looks good. Can I have some? So Gwen. What does it feel like being beamed into a terrarium? Spencer, get real. Everyone knows that when you have pizza before you go to bed, you have nightmares. Ugh, trapped with Vernon. Anyways, I'll see you in the morning when I wake up, okay? Good night, Gwen. Guess what happened? Hey, Zach, hi. Uh, we were just talking. Yes, talking. Uh, about things. Hi. Zach, can we have a moment? Look, Zach, we need to have a little talk about privacy, okay? I respect yours. You do? And I think it's time you started respecting mine. But, Dad, you cute. Understood? Understood. <laughs> no, 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 no. There must be some mistake. Uh, uh, who, who ordered this? Yo, kid. 
Yeah. Cam Dunleavy. 20 Deluxe. Zach? Zach file, 42 anchovy alert, dash five. Investigator Spencer Sharp reporting. Regarding the recent incidents of human apportation, no, I don't have any evidence. But I do have my report. Human apportation. I lose more counter guys that way. We at the Mantiful Institute have been studying this for some time. Baking soda, vinegar. You mix them, they fizz. How? It's a mystery. Uh, is that fantastic? <laughs> Whoa. This is really hot stuff. You haven't shown it to anyone, have you? If Dr. Fox at the Institute cut his hands on this, big trouble. You haven't shown this to anyone, have you? We can't let this fall into the hands of Papa Lou's Pizza. In the race for human apportation, I will beat Papa Lou at his own game. I give Zach plenty of privacy. I hardly ever monitor his calls. Yes, I do screen his friends, but I still let him hang with Cam. Do I look under his bed? Well, only when it's a question of safety and hygiene. So you see, there's no reason he needs to put a lock on his door. Is there? 